Hi everyone, this is Mary, you're in Mary Reads, and in this video I'm going to give you a short overview of the Booker Prize. The results came in on Sunday, November 26th, and I thought that it's going to be interesting to look at the nominees, uh, talk about the book that won the Booker Prize, and just see if the books are actually that good. So the Booker Prize is a literary award that is given to a novel that is written in English and published in the UK or Ireland. The grand prize is 50,000 euros. This year there were six nominees and let's see if their books are actually that good and if they're worth reading. The first novel, The Beasting by Paul Murray, is a novel about the family. Dickie, the father, lost his car business and now he's spending all of his time in the forest building a bunker in case of an apocalypse. His wife, Imelda, has to sell her jewelry on eBay in order to support the family at least a little bit. Their teenage daughter, Cass, has some drinking problems that lead her to problems in school and their younger son PJ got himself into trouble and now is planning on running away from home. So it looks like the whole family is one big problem but is there anything that can save them and this is what the book is going to explore. It's going to see if there is anything good left in that family or that's it and the family is kind of breaking up. The second novel is Western Lane by Chetna Maru. This novel tells us about a little girl, Gobby, who is trying to find herself and her path in life. She has been playing squash for as long as she can remember herself, and after her mother dies, her dad puts her in a pretty intense training program that 11-year-old girl is kind of probably not prepared for. So Gopi starts spending all of her time training and she slowly grows apart uh, with her sisters. They don't understand her, she does not understand them because for her oh, the, the sport is the only thing that exists. And she is slowly starting to uh, understand what she wants, who she is. She's gonna meet some people on her practice. Uh, it's gonna be somebody who's really not like her and Gopi is going to see what she really wants and who she really is. So this book is going to explore the growth of a character, the growth of a little girl, and how her viewpoints change with time. The third novel, Prophet Song by Paul Lynch, is a dystopian novel. It tells us about a family in Ireland. Ailish Stack, a mother of four, opens her door one night to see two policemen who want to speak to her husband. The Irish government is turning towards tyranny and away from democracy, and it looks like the society is slowly getting ruined. So Ailish finds herself in some sort of an unsolvable situation, but all she wants is to keep her family together no matter what it takes. The next Booker Prize nominee is the novel This Other Eden by Paul Harding. This novel is based on historical events and it tells a story of one family, so it's kind of like a family saga. It tells us a story about the Honey family. Uh, Benjamin Honey comes to the Apple Island in the end of 18th century. He comes with his wife. He was formerly enslaved. So he comes to this island to build his life as a free person and build a family there. 100 years passes and the officials decide to bring civilization to the island. So they kind of want to cleanse it and they only decide to save the light-skinned boy. Uh, others have to agree to the new rules or they have to leave and build their lives from the beginning somewhere else. So this novel promises to be a drama family saga and I think if you're interested in social issues, in, in, in novels about social issues that people are facing today or used to face before, I think this is definitely something you might enjoy reading. The next novel, If I Survive You by Jonathan S. Coffrey, tells a story of an immigrant family. In 1979, Topper and Sanya decide to move to Miami to run away from the political regime that they don't agree with. And they decide to move to the US where they think they're going to be welcome, they think they're going to find people who will understand them, but it turns out to be harder than they expected. American society doesn't treat them uh, the way they were hoping to be treated, they do not really welcome them. 
So their younger son is growing in a society that doesn't trust him. People uh, suspect him of doing something, uh, nobody knows what. And their older son is trying to do whatever it takes to save his children and make sure that they live normal and happy lives. So the family will have to go through a lot to get back to a happy life. And the book is going to explore the possibility of becoming happier. Um, and if, if is it possible to stay together when it looks like everything is getting ruined, when nobody is treating you well, uh, when each person in the family is trying to achieve different things? So this book is probably also for those who are interested in reading about social issues. This time it touches immigrants, uh, which is a very discussed topic um, right now. And if you're interested in social issues, again, I think this book is going to be interesting for you. And the last Booker Prize nominee is Study for Obedience by Sarah Bernstein. This novel tells a story of a woman who moves to a different country to become her brother's housekeeper after his wife leaves him. When she comes, a series of strange accidents start happening. So the potato harvest gets ruined, the dog gets a fake pregnancy, and the woman slowly starts realizing that people are looking suspiciously at her. They're blaming her, the newcomer, for what's happening. She decides to hide herself in the house, and she starts taking care of the house and her brother, who gets ill. These were all the six novels. I have to say that they all sound very interesting, and it looks like they touch very deep topics that some, some of them are widely discussed right now. But for me personally, the most interesting ones were Paul Lynch's Prophet Song and Sarah Bernstein's Study for Obedience. I was thinking about reading all six of them and trying to figure out who would be the best for me. And if I was giving out the Booker Prize, who would I give it to? So you've probably heard who the winner is. The results have been out there for three days now, and it's Prophet Song by Paul Lynch. It looks like he was everybody's favorite, and this was a pretty easy decision to make in the sense that everybody agreed on who the winner should be. And I'm very happy about that because this is the book that I was actually interested in. Uh, dystopian novels can be hard to read, but I think they're very interesting, and especially in times like this, this is something that, um, at least me, um, I naturally want to read. So I'm very excited about reading this book. And again, I'm thinking about reading all six of them and trying to figure out which book will be my favorite and who would I give the Booker Prize to. This is probably going to be next year because for this year I already have the schedule for the uh, videos but I hope you stay with me for that. And thank you for being here with me today. I hope I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.